Um, hi everyone, my name is Paolo Rango. I'm originally from Colombia, South America. And um, well, it has been a really long, long, long road for me in order to become a teacher. And um, I think one of the greatest things that happened to me during my high school years was when I met my English teacher. And um, I went to a really structured and traditional school setting, all Catholic schools. So um, back then there was no reflection of what children needed to learn. There was just, you need to learn this, uh, these are the books that you need to read, these are the exams, and if you pass the exam, you're able to move on to the next grade. If you feel failed exams, you need to study hard or otherwise you need to um, do again whatever grade you were in. So um, that was really frightening for me and uh, there was always this pressure on my shoulders that I needed to do well. And, and I did. Um, but then um, I was, the time of me to go to college came in and, and I was really thinking about what was going to be my, my future. And um, my grandmother, she always even though she was really um, structured in the way that she thought about education, she um, let me decide um, my future and she said, Paolo, this is your choice. Whatever you want to do with your college life, this is um, your choice. So I, I decided to do my um, bilingual education in Colombia. I took a, um, a degree, I have a, a major in languages and um, education. So I was exposed to um, teaching English to high school um, students back then in Colombia and I was working with them and then I was um, selected to come to United States to work with children in summer camps. And that's probably when I um, changed my idea of education because before I was like kind of those teachers that I was just providing information, just giving this is what you had to learn in order to uh, you know master a foreign language and, and, and that was it. But then when I was working with this um, children here in America, I, it was totally a different approach and um, I had that uh, beautiful seed in, in my soul and I was thinking about the way to really approach education and children and I, when I was in New Orleans because I've been a little bit around the place <laughs> when I was in New Orleans I was applying for graduate schools and um, and I looked at Sarah Lawrence College a friend of mine who used to live in Westchester she said, you know, there are incredible colleges here, why don't you just check the program? And I did. I did my research. I read the philosophy of the program and something that really struck me was how the philosophy and how the classes are developed here is totally different from where I'm coming from. It's not the structure, it's not the exam, it's not the homework is we're here of course we, we read we discuss because that's the way that we can actually know and, and and grow as a group and and I felt really excited about that and I when I came here it was totally a different experience to me and I loved it and um, I, I I grew a lot I grew a lot because as soon as I stepped in at Sarah Lawrence, I was given the opportunity to keep working with children. And something that you said, Robert, mm -hmm. that it's totally true. Um, as as adults, we learn to listen to children, mm -hmm. to learn with them, mm -hmm. and to help them learn.